continuing uh, measures of central tendency from our last lecture so we've covered mean median and mode uh, the theoretical concepts in uh, this particular class i'm going to cover how to uh, generate descriptive stats or a central tendency using the three tools uh, we've got sas uh, we've got statistica we've got spss and i'm also going to do it on r uh, using rattle all right so i'm going to import the data set uh, car sales and uh, the hsb data set both of them into all the tools uh, we'll start with sas uh, we've got sas here i'm going to import the data set into the work directory itself so import data i'm going to import a csv file press next browse my computer Car sales is there. Get variables from first row, first row of data. Press OK. Press next. I'm gonna call it car sales. Sorry. And check the log. All's good. And we've got car sales data imported. I'm going to make sure all the numbers are uh, as numbers. So, yep, best 32 format. Numeric. Uh, numeric sounds good. So, data is there in the SAS format. Uh, let's bring it into Statistica as well. To do it for all files, car sales is there, delimited, comma delimited, take variable in first row, skip blank lines, looks fine. And there we have uh, statistica imported as well. Now I'm on to SPSS file, open data. Again, I'm going to specify to search for all files, and there we have car sales. And yep, next delimited variable is included in top row. Yes, next each line, all of the cases I want to import. Next, it's only a comma separated file. Next. Oh, uh, they're all fine. Let's have a look. Data view. There. All right. So now in uh, SPSS, uh, we have an option to go into the variable view. In variable view, we can figure out which are the uh, the uh, variables that we've imported and the data types. So we've got data types like string for model and manufacturer and sales, resale, etc. have been imported as numeric. Now the thing to remember is. Uh, that the type has got nothing to do with the type of uh, variable that we've discover, discussed before. This is only the data type. For example, over here, we've got the measure. Here we can actually uh, classify the variable as a nominal, ordinal or scale variable. Nominal variables are uh, your uh, categoric variables, no direction, no magnitude. Ordinal, as we've discussed, have got direction but no magnitude. Scale is your vector variables or your uh, ratio scale variables. So, by default, uh, SPSS try to guess uh, what type of variable is what. For example, if it sees, uh, you know, text occurring, so it's quite likely to slot as a nominal variable. So, both model and manufacturer have been imported as normal. We can actually change it over here. So, type uh, is a binary variable. It's classified as normal, which is correct. Miles per gallon has uh, got uh, classified as nominal. But uh, miles per gallon is actually the mileage of the car. This is supposed to be a ratio scale variable, so vector variable. So I'm going to change it from here to nominal to scale. So uh, and most of the times, uh, the measure that you, uh, you know, store in SPSS doesn't make too much of a difference if you know what you're doing. But it's best to classify the variables correctly. All right. So I'm going to go to SAS now, and I'm going to run uh, a uh, basic procedure to generate uh, mean of the variables. The procedure in SAS is I'm going to use a uh, proc means. Uh, the concept is uh, pro proc means data equal to 
work dot car underscore sales and I'm going to do it uh, using the var and specify which are the variables I want to do uh, uh, generate the means for so let's uh, figure out you know mpg so I'm going to do it for miles per gallon press run and I want the output in uh, in HTML format so I'm just going to go put the option H ODS HTML over here right and uh, while I'm doing this, I expect those who are watching the video to also uh, generate their own uh, SAS files and follow the procedures behind me. So I'm going to run this. So I'm going to press F3 or you can use the run option over here. And let's look at the result that we get. I'm going to look at the HTML viewer. So there we get. So mean of the variable. Right, number of observations. I get the standard deviation as well. I'll explain standard deviation a little later. So we get the minimum value and we get the maximum value as well. Right. If I do not give the var option, what will happen? So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to run it again. This time I'm not going to give the var option. I'm not going to give any options at all. If I run it simply on the data set without any var option, what it will do is it will generate the means for all of the variables in one shot so we get uh, the means uh, for every variable right now uh, now the thing to note is uh, sas will uh, run this uh, procedure on all uh, variables which are coded in as a numeric in the data set it will skip uh, the means procedure for uh, uh, the variables which are character character variables so even though uh, you know type uh, is a uh, numeric variable it is actually a categoric variable which specifies whether the car is a sedan or an suv so i do get a mean for type which comes out as 0 0.26 so what it essentially says is cars are either 0 0.26 uh, sedans or 0 0.26 uh, suvs it doesn't make sense so it's simply the mean of the variable type but it doesn't signify anything so uh, we need to be careful on uh, what are the variables we include in our analysis otherwise we'll be doing analysis like what is the average uh, gender of a class or what's the average roll number of uh, students enrolled which uh, typically doesn't mean anything right i'm going to do the same uh, in uh, uh, spss so i'm going to go to analyze over there and i'm going to go to descriptive statistics and i'm, I'm going to collect or select descriptives option in spss and here in SPSS, once I click on descriptives, it asks which variables I want to do this for. So I can select a whole lot of variables, bring it into the variable list, go to options, say I want the means, I want the minimum, maximum, I want the range as well, standard deviation variance are something which we will cover a little later in the class. So I'm going to click them out, press continue, press OK, and here we go. So uh, in SAS, there will be two windows. One is the data window, one is the output window. And in the output window, I get all of the uh, all of the the mean value. So it will tell me how many observations in each of the variables, what is the range, the minimum, the maximum, and the mean value. And what you can do is you can compare this with SAS, and it should be uh, exactly the same till the most significant digit, right? And how to do this in uh, SPA in Statistica? I'm going to Statistica over here. I'm going to click on the Statistics option. There's an option over there, Basic Statistics, Oblique Tables. Click over here. Again, there's an option to select Descriptive Statistics. Press OK. Right. It's going to ask for the variables that we want. I'm going to select Variables, and let's do it for all. And yeah, I want to even do it for manufacturer model and see whether any kind of an error comes up. Press OK. So it throws up an error. It says that these two variables are text variables. You cannot do this. Oh, it's a little smarter. Press OK. Press Summary. And here we go. We get the mean of the variables. We get the minimum value. We get the maximum value. We get the standard deviation as well. Right. So here we've generated the mean value for all the variables uh, in the data set. Uh, let's uh, skip on to R now. I'm going to import the data set again over here. And here we go. Car sales. Press execute. And I don't want to partition the data set. 
I am going to explore. It says summary stats. Press execute. And here we go. So R typically gives uh, the output is uh, in text format. So it's not as uh, good looking, but well, it's a free for uh, it's a free uh, uh, tool. So what it's done is for each variable uh, for the categoric variables, it's actually given us all the discrete levels. That is all the categories that are occurring in the data set. So it's uh, sorted it in alphabetical order from Acura, Audi till Volvo. Similar with the model. And for all the other data sets, it's generated. Uh, for all variables, it's also generated uh, uh, the descriptive stats. For example, for manufacturer and model, it's actually generated the mode. So it says Ford is repeating 11 times, Dodge is coming 10 times, and so on. For model, Neon, it's coming twice, 300 GT is coming once. And in the sales, I've got the minimum, I've got the maximum, I've got the first quartile, I've got the median, I've got the mean. Right. So over here we've got the mean for each. We've got the median, the first quartile, and the third quartile, or the 25th percentile, and the 75th percentile. I've got the minimum, and I've got the maximum for all the variables over here. So you get the descriptive stats for R as well. Right. So I'm going to skip to the other section now. What I want you to do uh, in uh, uh, an exercise is I want you to run descriptive statistics on the HSB data set, I want you to generate the mean scores for read, write, math, science and social studies across all the four data sets. Right? So, the end of this class, uh, we go to generate descriptive stats on the HSB2 data set for read, write, math, science and social studies. It's got to be done on SAS, on SPSS, on Statistica and on uh, R as well. Right. So, uh, in the next video, I'll show how to do this, but uh, it would be better if you can actually do it on your own.